this thing that you want, it will be the thing that you're doing. This video is not sponsored. How to make time for what you want to do. How to make time for you. First thing, and probably the most important thing, because until you address this, you will not start doing that thing that you want to do. And that is address any fears that you may have. Are you subconsciously or consciously blocking yourself? If there is fear present, you will find reasons not to do the thing. For example, there was a part of me that was afraid to start making videos again, but I wasn't conscious of this. I found myself coming up with excuses not to film videos. If you find yourself coming up with a lot of excuses, ask yourself, are these logical or are we just coming up with excuses because part of us is afraid to start, part of us is afraid to fail, the unknown, which is totally reasonable, but you really need to address this and dismantle these ideas, see it for what it is. Then it'll be easier to let a lot of that baggage go and actually go after what you want to do. Logging your time in an Excel spreadsheet, in a note on your phone, physically writing it down. So from the time you wake up to the time you go to sleep, write down what you spend your time doing and how long everything takes. And do this for a week to five days and see where are you spending your most time? Where do you have the most time to allocate to the activity? Maybe there are things throughout the day that you don't need to be doing that you could give up. Maybe you spend like two hours a day playing baseball bingo <laughs> and maybe you were willing to give up bingo or maybe you spend a couple hours a day binge watching television shows and you actually don't really want to do that anymore. There are probably moments in your day where you can make some sacrifices. In cases where every moment throughout your day is completely busy, then consider waking up early. This is what I had to do. So I looked at my days, I logged my time and I realized like, wow, my days are really full, but there are little segments throughout the day where I have space. and. I think I can make even more time if I started waking up at five. That completely changed my entire life. If you want to know more about that, you can click up here. One of these sides of the screen is where you can get to that video. Which brings me to my next thing, which I kind of touched on, and that is waking up early and going to bed early will make it easier to do the activity that you'd like to do. If you can wake up at let's say five, you have so much more time before, let's say before work, before your kids wake up. Peaceful, uninterrupted, quiet time to dedicate to your activity. And that is what I'm doing right now. That is what I have been doing. That is the reason why I've been able to post twice a week so far. I can't recommend it enough to wake up at five or to wake up earlier. Be flexible. I know you have this vision of how it's going to go. Her visions don't usually end up turning out exactly in real life. Be flexible. Take the small moments while you have them. If you have half an hour to dedicate to your activity, don't say, oh, psh, that's not enough time. I'm not even going to do anything. You'd be surprised at how much you can do in even like 10 minutes. You realize all of the little moments throughout the day, they add up. This one is huge. Do not wait for some future moment to do the thing that you want to do. If you can do it now, do it now. Because if you put it off to some perfect future moment, the perfect moment will never come. And you will never do the thing that you want to do. Even the tiniest little thing, little baby steps, do something. Restructure your life to support the activity that you want to do. When I started making videos again, I actually physically took out my camera because it was in storage, out of sight, out of mind. And I put it in a place where I could see it. And that week that I brought it out was the week that I started filming. If you can put out visual cues in your environment that remind you about the thing that you want to do and keep it in the front of your mind, you're gonna be more likely to do that thing. I started meal prepping because I noticed when I logged my time that I was spending so much time every single day cooking having leftovers, meal prepping was a way that I restructured my life to help support the activity that I wanted to do, which has saved me so much time. How can you restructure your life, restructure your environment to support what you want to do? Don't be afraid to ask for help. Some of us really just don't like asking people for help. We just want to do everything by ourselves. There's definitely value in doing things by yourself, but if you need help, if you need assistance, don't be afraid to ask for it. The people that love you in your life will be more than happy to help you, especially if you're one of those people that never ask for help. If you ask someone for help, they're just going to be so like, 
Really? You're asking me for help? You never ask me for anything. They will be so happy to help you, I swear. I know I said this before, but I'm gonna say it again. I'll say it again. I'm gonna say it again. Start now. Anything that you can do to start, do it now, do it today, do it right after you're done watching this video. In fact, stop the video right now and go do it, please. Because the sooner you start, the sooner you can actually be doing the thing that you wanna do, the sooner you can be incorporating it into your life, the sooner it won't be like this thing that you want, it will be the thing that you're doing. I love you and I'll see you in the next video. Bye. You are on your way, my friend.